Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can vlog with the Canon 6D. So I know in my previous Canon 6D video, I said that I would never consider vlogging with this camera because of the elephant in the room, which is the lack of autofocus and the lack of a flip out screen. But by the end of this video, you will be able to vlog with your Canon 6D, so stay tuned. So before we begin, let me talk about my experiences with vlogging with cameras with no autofocus. So the first camera that I've ever vlogged on that had no autofocus for video was the Canon 60D. That camera was amazing. That was the first camera that I've ever tried that had uh, an interchangeable lens. At the same time, it had a flip out screen. And the second camera that I've tried vlogging with, which had no autofocus was the Panasonic GH5. So I have a fair bit of experience with vlogging with cameras with no autofocus. So in this video, my goal is to teach you how to vlog with your Canon 60. So let's dive right in how to set your Canon 60 for vlogging. So the first thing we're gonna adjust is we're gonna press the Q button. We are gonna change our frame rate or our movie rec size or movie recording size. So we're gonna go to 192025. So this basically means 1080 and 25 frames per second. The next thing we're gonna adjust is our, our shutter speed. So shutter speed should always be double your frame rate. So in this case, since our frame rate is 25 times two, that is 50. So we're gonna set our shutter speed to 50, which I already did. The next thing we're gonna set is our white balance. So since we're gonna be vlogging, we don't wanna keep changing our white balance, right? Normally, I wanna shoot in manual when it comes to white balance, but again, we are vlogging. So we're gonna set it on auto. And one more setting that we are gonna be setting on auto is the ISO because we don't want to manually keep changing our ISO, right? So we are gonna leave it on auto. And last thing we're gonna adjust is the audio level. So it depends on your microphone. So right now I'm using the Rode Video Micro 2. It doesn't matter what microphone you're using. All you need to do is just set your audio levels. So what I like to do to set my audio levels is I would normally place the microphone facing out, right? But this time I'm gonna face it towards me because we have no flip out screen, right? So I cannot guess what my audio levels are. So face the microphone towards you, hold it in a distance wherein you think you're gonna be vlogging in. So maybe an arm's length. So you want your audio levels to sit at around negative 12. You don't want it to go all the way to zero because you run the risk of peaking. So I want it to be around negative 12 and I'm gonna hit okay. And then now you can put back your microphone facing outward. Again, you can use whatever microphone you have. You could use the Rode Video Micro 1, the Boya BYMM1, the infamous Boya BYMM1, the Movo mic, whatever you have, it will work with the Canon 6D because it has a microphone input. So the next thing we're gonna be talking about are the two most important things to remember when you're vlogging with the Canon 6D. So the first thing to remember is your lens choice. You want to be able to use either a 17 to 40 millimeter Canon EF lens or a Canon 24 to 70 because that's what focal length you need to be able to pull off a vlogging hold like this because you don't want it to be too tight or else it's just gonna show your face. If you vlog with a 30 millimeter, it's literally just gonna be your face. So you want it to be at least 17 millimeters. If you have a 16 to 35, sure, you can use that. That would actually be the best option. But if you don't have a 16 to 35, the next best thing or the cheapest alternative is a 17 to 40. I think Canon also has a fisheye of 15 millimeter, but then I don't like that fisheye effect that it creates when you're vlogging. So 17 to 40, but if you really have to, you can use 24 to 70. The only downside is it's quite heavy. The 17 to 40 is what I would call a, a tolerable weight when it comes to vlogging. So remember, you have to change your lens to a, a, a vlogging lens or a lens suitable for vlogging. The next or the most important thing to remember when you're vlogging with a lens like this or a camera like this with no autofocus is to switch off manual focus right there. Just from autofocus, switch it off to manual focus. And the key thing right here is to just set the distance meter to read 0.5 meters, okay? Just set it to 0.5 meters because this is about 0.5 meters right here because an arms span like this, if you open your arms like this, this is roughly one meter, right? So this is only 0.5 meters, which is half a meter. So right there, that is a secret right there. Just set it on 0.5 meters you don't have to guess if you're in focus on or not because if you set it on f4 or whatever aperture you have as long as it's not 2.8 because you can still miss focus with f4 f2.8 so f4 most of the time if you are on f4 on 0.5 meters on the uh, distance scale you are going to be in focus 90 percent of the time unless you're away from the camera like this okay so that's it that's the secret right there it's actually not a secret it's just something that i learned from 
vlogging with cameras with no autofocus. So this was just a quick video teaching you that it is possible to vlog with your Canon 60. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!